Hey guys, it's yours truly coming back at you all with another one. Uh, just in time for the event, I do have all those decks that I were working on over the past couple of days for you guys to be able to utilize in the event with the exception of two or three of them, which I will correct on the spot as they had banded a couple of the cards, but that is no problem. And let's get right into it. Our number one problem in this event is going to be Super Poly as dark base decks are going to be taken advantage of and every other fusion deck as well because of one specific fusion monster that's going to cause a problem um i'm with the time that i did had i managed to make it to platinum tier three so once i'm finished with the fusion event i will be back on my grind to diamond tier one but into the event so you guys can see the decks that are playable but first let's check out those Luna decks they're giving you guys a destiny hero deck to play a fluffle deck and a predator plant deck to play now one of the issues that we're going to encounter with super poly is that dark decks are going to get taken advantage of raped mutilated and all that good stuff and then this guy right here because he only requires one fusion monster and a dark monster because the event is mainly going to feature a lot of fusion based decks um super poly and a dark monster and your super poly in your opponent's hand with you controlling a fusion monster means they only need a dark monster and they can utilize your fusion monster as a material and then the more fusion monsters you have on board the worse you make the situation because there are other super poly targets that um i'm going to show you guys in the other deck builds that they can also utilize so if you are playing a um dark base build fusion deck you want to summon only one at a time and hopefully your opponent cannot otk you but I do have at least one or two builds that can play around Super Poly without it being that big of an issue that focuses on OTKing the opponent. And let's get right to those decks for you guys. So a copy from my deck. And I did bought the Cybernetic Successor, so I'm going to work on this. I'd either be playing this or the Neo Blue Eyes OTK deck. But for this event, we're going to start off with the Brandic branded dogmatica despia and they banded the ecclesia so you're just going to replace this with a fag veiler and then the servant and the punishment you're just going to use infinite and permanence so you're going to play three maxi three ash three corridor uh three of fag veiler three fallen of the albers three alubas Two uh, Floreldis, however you pronounce. Sorry, two Floreldis, however you pronounce that. Two Maximus, two Dramatridge, uh, three Shrouded Dragons, one Sphere Mode, uh, three Infinite Impermanence, three Branded and White, one Dogmatica Nation, one Despia Theater of the Branded, two Super Polys, two Branded and High Spirits. In the extra deck, you're gonna play three Entis one starving venom fusion dragon one drago stapelia one colossus two ash dragons one albion one quatricitis uh, sorry two quatricitis however you pronounce that one masquerade the blazing dragon one tri of truth however you pronounce that one elcium and one pros Kinion, how you pronounce that? And that's gonna be it for the deck. Um, the next one is Invoke Shadow Alt Dogmatica. You're going to play three Maxi, two Shadow Alt Hedgehog, three Ash, three uh, Winda, sorry, Windy, one Dragon, three Invoker, one Ariel, three Corridor, three Effect Veiler. That's what you're gonna switch this for. One Shadow Beast, one Florellus, one Maximus, one Dramatridge, two Nibiru, one Terraforming, three Shadow Fusion, three Invocation, um, two Infinite Impermanence because the 
what's this punishment is also there so you're gonna swap the mode for infinite permanence you're gonna play two magical meltdown two super poly one el shadow fusion one um incarnation and one shadow of schism in the extra deck you're gonna play one entis two window one apocalone one purgatrio one construct starving venom drago stapelia colossus Argeo, Eudeus, uh, Ash Dragon, two Macabre, one Trifold, yeah, tri you, you guys know, and LCM. These are your Super Poly targets right here. One, two, three, and four. And if you're playing a mirror match, then most likely you're going to be able to make your other Shadow Monsters and Macabre as well off of your opponent's board. Because if they go Macabre and um construct you would be able to make the where is it uh right yeah the lcm so you can make this and if they go um macabre and window to, to restrict you to one summon you can then fuse that fuse them to make the drago stapelia as like i said one fusion one dark monster which is one fusion one dark monster and on to the next deck, it's going to be Invoke Dogmatica Despia, uh, 3 Maxi, 3 Ash, 3 Invoker, 3 Corridor, 3 Effect Vela, 2 uh, Florildis, 2 Maximus, 2 Dramatris, uh, 1 Sphere Mode, 1 Regeki, 1 Harpy's Feather Duster, 1 Monster Reborn, 1 Terraforming, 3 Invocation, um, Either you can swap these three out for Lightning Storm or Ruler No More, whichever one you prefer, or Droplets just to nag your opponent's board or out the opponent's back row or face up field. Two Magical Meltdown, one Dogmatica Nation, two Super Poly, three Infinite Impermanence. In the extra deck, three Entis, three Purgatrio, one Starving Venom, one Drago Stapelia, one. Colossus, one Ash Dragon, one Quartus, I don't know if you pronounce that, one Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, two Macabre, one Triono Trip, how do you pronounce that, Eliancium, and Proskinion. You guys know your Super Poly targets already? On to the next deck. Elemental Heroes, and this is where you can't go wrong with a good classic. You're gonna play three Moxie, two Increase, three Ash, three Stratos, two Vion, three Shadow, two Solid Soldier, one A Dusted Gold, two Liquid Soldier, three Ferris, two Malicious, one Honest Neos, one Plasma, three Polymerization, one Reinforcements of the Army, two Miracle Fusion, three E Emergency Call, one A Hero Lives, one Dark Calling, 3 mass change and 3 infinite impermanence and this is really for that window lock you can turn off that window or you can turn off the um, macabre effect and then you can make either the great tornado to cut all their attack in half or if you negated the window then you can go off and freely fusion summon but you're going to play 2 dark loss you can cut off the graveyard 2 sunrise because why not get your miracle fusion make another fusion the guilty are gear free the magical steel knight because it can be made your chimera tech fortress dragon so if your opponent gets sloppy on their cyber dragon place you can just clear their board two absolute zeros one great tornado one adortion one trinity one um acid one divine wind starving venom because it can be made on your malicious bane and on to the next deck ancient gears so you don't have to worry too much about super poly you're gonna play 300 pounds three gear knights two gear box three waverns three gear frames three ancient gear golems three ultimate pound two reactor dragons then you're gonna play three power bond two overload fusion three ancient gear catapult three ancient gear fusion three gear town one fortress three limiter removal three infinite impermanence and one gear reborn the whole focus of the deck is to otk your opponent and take advantage of them placing monsters in the extra monster zone you're going to play two chimera tech fortress dragons uh three howitzer this is one of the monsters unaffected by super poly 
uh, three megaton golems, three ultimate ancient gear golems, three um, chaos ancient gear giants, and one chimera tech mega fleet dragon. And on to the next deck, it's going to be that classic cyber dragon OTK using twin cyber and rampage and chimera tech over dragon as your main focus. You're going to play three hertz, three na uh, nasata, three core, three harness, one electromagnetic turtle, three chimera, three cyber dragons, one cyber etlin, two polymerizations, one foolish burial, three machine duplication, three power bond, one overload fusion, two cyber emergency, one cyber repair plant, three lightning storms, three limiter removal, and one cyber overload fusion. You want to go off overload fusion first to banish as many machine type monsters for the first chimera tech over dragon. Then you want to follow up the following turn if they manage to survive somehow with the cyber overload fusion to make the second one giving you as many attack points and multiple attacks as possible. In the extra deck you just play three rampage, three twin, two fortress dragons, two chimera tech over dragons, three cyber ends and two mega fleet dragons. And on to the next deck, thunder dragons which I feel is a really good deck and will give you really good success uh, during this format. You play the three thunder dragon matrix, three necro face, three uh, aloof, three corridor, three thunder dragons, three thunder dragon darks, one dragon hawk, one dragon, sorry two dragon raw, two dragon duo and one thunder dragon lord. One regeki, one harpy's feather duster, one monster reborn, one gold sarcophagus, three a law of darkness, three thunder dragon fusion, one lightning storm, two super polys, three infinite impermanence. And in the extra deck you want to take advantage of your super poly targets, your opponent can potentially play DDD so you can take advantage of their two DDD monsters on board and go into the King Beowulf, uh, Starring Venom, uh, Draco Stapelia, Colossus, the Aegidius, however you pronounce that, uh, the one Albion, the one Quatritis, uh, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, Trifold, Novatrum, however you pronounce that. If they're playing Dragon Mage, because Dragon Mage do have fusions, you want to make the Dragon Mage Shirio, Sh Shirio and use it to negate and then just let it bring your host Dragon Mage to the field. And then your last Super Poly target, the Elysium. And then your three Thunder Dragon Titans. And on to the next deck, the Neo Blue Eyes OTK. You're going to play three Blue Eyes White Dragons, three the White Stone of Legend, three Effect Veilers, one Stone of Ancients, one uh, Blue Boy, three King of the Swamps, two Ash, three Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, and two Dragon Spirit of White. You're going to play two Super Poly, two Dragon's Mirror, three Trade In, two uh, Melody of the Awakening Dragons, one Cards of Consonants, uh, Secrets, two Return of the Dragon Lords, one Neutron Blast, one Knowledge, one bingo machine, one fusion deployment, and two the ultimate creature of destruction. In the extra deck, you're gonna play two first of the dragons because they can be made, two blue eyes twin burst dragons, um, three blue eyes ultimate dragons, two dragon master knights because it can be made, fusion summon of ultimate dragon with a king of the swamps in the graveyard, drop your dragon's mirror, and there you have it. Um, five headed dragon, and then the key card for your OTK, your blue eyes, your Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And on to the next deck, Dark Magician. This is a counter strategy to the fusions or decks that use the spell cards to fusion summon, focusing on the epidemic virus. You're gonna play three Dark Magician, three Effect Veilers, three Magician Souls, two Maxi, one uh, Blue Boy, three Magician's Rod, three Ash, one Dark Magician Girl, three Illusion, Apprentice, Mag Apprentice Illusion Magician, one Pendulum Oracle Mahad, and I just want to put you guys on notice that Konami has not added the Pendulum Oracle Mana, which she is vital to the Dark Magician combo. Um, despite what 
you know popular opinions may say she can get you up to a draw four as well as she can protect your higher level spell card casters from destruction effect um also on her destruction um she gets you your dark magician grid from hand echo graveyard so she is vital to the dark magician archetype you play one spell book of secrets one eye of tamias one bond between teacher and student one knowledge one magical eyes fusion two dark magic circle one dark burning magic three soul servant two secrets of dark magic three epidemic era um eradicator epidemic virus this is so that you can select spells and don't have to deal with super poly or any other spell card for that matter for the duration of three turns one eternal soul in the extra deck you just play the dark magician girl the dragon knight the one dark paladin one omelette dragon um one two starving venoms because it can be made the draco stopelia because it can be made not sure if you want to make it in this deck uh the dark magician the dragon knight the projected back row dark cavalry so you can pass defense you'll triple the dark magicians because why not um first of the dragons because it can be made uh tripovian because it can be made and your two quintin magician which is also unaffected by super poly and is a massive field clearance as he can nuke the whole board on your opponent's side of the field and on to the next deck uh this doesn't fusion summon this is just a countermeasure like i said to the fusion base decks that utilize spell cards and it's danger dark will beat down so you can expect decks like this um you may encounter time lords may be legit as well as true dracos may still be legit in this format not sure but expect the unexpected you're gonna play one blue boy three brown two jackalope two sunoku two uh beige vanguard of the dark world three snow two chupacabra two mothman two grafa three bigfoot three thunderbird two ogre pogo one card destruction one dark world dealings three trade and one the beginning of the end one secrets one knowledge one response team one the gates of dark world and three eradicator epidemic virus in the extra deck you're gonna play three entis and three skull wagon this is because uh the level eight dogmatica monster can force the opponent to send two monsters from the extra deck to the graveyard and this is your response to that in this deck so that you can pop two cards when they force you to you're just playing the triple blue eyes ultimate dragon the trifecta of dragon master knight and um triple five headed dragon just to throw your opponent off for a 15 card extra deck so that they can believe you actually fusion summon in this deck but that is all the decks that i created for you guys in time for the event which is in a few few short hours I would either be playing the Neo Blue Eyes OTK or I'm going to fix up this uh, cybernetic successor um, structure deck and see how far I get with that. But that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the event. See you all there. And until next time. Later.